Teeth will have um, naturally um, forming grooves or developmental pits and fissures, uh, particularly in the occlusal surface, but not exclusively. These uh, developmental grooves are areas where plaque and debris can accumulate and if left undisturbed can cause uh, tooth decay. These are the susceptible areas um, that uh, we want to protect uh, from the biofilm processes. If we section that tooth down the middle, so we've just sliced basically through the, uh, through the tooth, so that we can see the grooves in cross-section. You can see that um, some of them are quite tortuous. Um, there is a very narrow opening to this particular groove here, and at the base of the groove is a space uh, where um, debris um, and bacterial plaque or biofilm can accumulate. If that's left undisturbed, it can actually destroy the enamel tissue and lead to cavitation. Problem is, this area is so narrow that not even a single filament of a toothbrush is um, fine enough to, to reach into this site. So what we actually have to effectively do is seal off this area so that one, the bacteria can't uh, penetrate into this area here, and two, even if there is bacteria there, once we've sealed that off from the oral cavity, okay, there is no um, sugars available uh, for the bugs at the base of the fissure to convert into acids to cause tooth decay. So sealing off or occluding this area is one of the um, strategies that we use to protect these areas from um, tooth decay or dental caries. Here is an image which shows a tooth before, so you can see a very nicely cleaned tooth surface. You can see very clearly the deep developmental grooves. Um, and here afterwards you can see a plastic film or what we call a fissure sealant has been applied to the tooth, effectively bonding to the tooth surface and occluding or cutting off um, or, or creating a smooth cleansable surface that doesn't allow substrate into, into the grooves.